No, I just wanted to bring back uh, uh, Sadar Gaurav into it because he's been actually working behind the scenes really, really hard and, uh, and contributing a lot. But I just wanted to ask you, Gaurav, um, you know, you, you, you've tried, you have had many ways in which you've saluted and thanked uh, our COVID heroes, uh, some known, some unknown heroes. Just explain how you selected the people you know, who you chose as uh, un unsung heroes? Yeah, Dr. Roy, I think uh, once we decided that we need to do something to salute them, uh, I think from a brand like that, all we need to be uh, sure uh, that we are giving out the right stories because obviously we don't want anybody who's undeserving to, to come in and we are not the experts in finding these stories. So so we were very lucky to to find a partner in, in a publication, a digital publication called The Better India. The whole publication I found is, is basically relying on fantastic stories from across India uh, for, for very inspiring individuals who've done a lot of change in society. And, and it's, I mean, COVID is one of them that we took, but across, across topics like education, women's empowerment, uh, children, arts and science, history, travel, uh, you name it, and, and they have examples and stories of people who've done massive change. And I'm sure, uh, sure they've brought a lot of change to society in the last so many years they've been there. So basically, we went to them, uh, and, and those people, with their people across India, curated these stories for us. And, and they brought these stories after researching them and brought it to our people who have both selected these. And, and, and we've basically had a difficult decision, I think, I believe, to make of choosing 100. And, and, uh, and that's how we went there. Goroji, this is Amitabh again. Um, these yes. are, of course, extremely extraordinary stories that you've been collecting. And what is really honorable is that you're posting them on your packs and uh, not just giving them a lot of importance, but perhaps inspiring many others to come forward and uh, do similar work. What kind of response did you get when people saw their photograph on your products? Um, and is there, is there somewhere where we can read about these people, their stories, including the ones who sort of didn't make it to your bottles? So Amit, uh, one is we started the digital activation, as I said earlier. We started it last month where people can nominate people on, and you get a virtual pack. You don't get the physical pack. But that started a wave of, of obviously feedback for us and and we were we have been overwhelmed in the last one month with all positive feedback that has come to us i mean i've even got letters physical letters but a lot of emails and and a lot of posts on our social media instagram or or facebook or sites so it's all been fantastically positive and and we are very happy and thankful to people for that and as you said it's it's not about these hundred people it's about spreading the message it's about yeah. Uh, spreading that positivity across society, and that that is the bigger aim. So on the pack, you have a photo and you have a four-line uh, message at the bottom of the pack, which shows uh, that, for example, for for Twinkle G, I would assume it will say something like, uh, "She and her husband give a free ambulance service to COVID patients." Uh, wow. So you can see the photo and and what they did uh, across pack. So we, we also have a website called detallsalutes.com. So a web page called detallsalutes.com. And, yeah. and all these hundred stories are there. Yeah. I have a few people on, on my social media. So if you could send me those stories, I'd be very happy to, uh, put it out on, on my blog, on my Twitter, Facebook, no, you know, thanks, if that thanks, can thanks for that. Just we will impress do. these people and, you know, provoke more interaction. Thank you, Mr. Jen.